When passing another car, you have enough space to return to the driving lane. A. If the other driver signals for you to re-enter the lane. B. If you look over your shoulder and see the passed car behind you. C. If you can see both of the passed vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. C. If you can see both of the passed vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. Before you return to the driving lane when completing a pass, be sure there is a safe gap between your vehicle and the passed vehicle. When you can see both headlights of the vehicle in your rearview mirror, it is safe to return to the driving lane. This yellow sign means A. There is a sharp turn to the right. B. The lane must turn right. C. A right turn is permitted on a green arrow only. A. There is a sharp turn to the right. Some warning signs have a fluorescent yellow-green background. These signs warn of upcoming conditions, including roads with curves and sharp turns. If the driver of an oncoming vehicle fails to dim their headlights. A. Look toward the center of the roadway. B. Look toward the right side of the road. C. Look straight ahead. B. Look toward the right side of the road. If an oncoming driver fails to dim their headlights, look toward the right side of the road. This will keep you from being blinded by the other vehicle's headlights and allow you to see enough of the road to stay on course. Do not try to retaliate by keeping your bright lights on. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a minimum blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of A. 0.05%. B. 0.08%. C. 0.02%. B. 0.08%. For drivers age 21 or older, it is illegal to operate a motor vehicle with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of 0.08% or higher. Driving while under the influence of alcohol is not only illegal, but dangerous. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. This road sign means A. The roadway ends ahead. B. Drivers must bear either right or left. C. A four-way intersection is ahead. B. Drivers must bear either right or left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that they are arriving upon a fork in the road and they must bear either right or left. What is the purpose of rumble strips? A. They alert drivers to potential tire problems. B. They test a vehicle's shock absorbers. C. Through vibration and sound. They alert inattentive drivers to the fact that their vehicles have left the travel lane. C. Through vibration and sound, they alert inattentive drivers to the fact that their vehicles have left the travel lane. Rumble strips create noise and vibrations to warn drowsy or inattentive drivers that they are straying off of the road or are approaching a stop sign or signal. This yellow sign means A. One lane ahead. B. Merging traffic ahead. C. Lane ends ahead. B. Merging traffic ahead. This sign warns of the possible presence of merging traffic. This symbol is used for A. Dangerous intersections. B. Slow-moving vehicles. C. 
Yield signs b. Slow-moving vehicles A reflective orange triangle on the rear of a vehicle means it travels only at slow speeds. You may see this sign on roadwork equipment, farm vehicles, or horse-drawn wagons and carriages. It appears as a solid orange triangle during the day and a hollow red triangle at night. Stopping distances and severity of crashes. A. Decrease as vehicle speed increases. B. Are not affected by vehicle speed. C. Increase as vehicle speed increases. C. Increase as vehicle speed increases. Stopping distances are longer and crashes are more severe when traffic travels at higher speeds. This sign means A. Do not drink and drive. B. Slippery when wet. C. Road curves ahead. B. Slippery when wet. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns that the roadway is slippery when wet. An orange and red triangular sign on a vehicle always means A. The vehicle has the right of way. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. Shoulder work ahead. B. Slow moving vehicle. Slow moving vehicles, such as farm tractors, road maintenance vehicles, and animal drawn carts, display an orange and red triangle on the back. If it is necessary to make an emergency stop while driving on an interstate, you should A. Sound your horn at passing cars to get their attention. B. Get out of your vehicle and flag down the first vehicle that passes. C. Pull off the road, turn on your emergency flashers, and stay in your vehicle, if you can. C. Pull off the road. Turn on your emergency flashers, and stay in your vehicle, if you can. If you must stop on the shoulder of the interstate or highway, turn on your emergency flashers to warn other drivers and stay inside your vehicle, if you can. The extremely high speed of traffic makes standing or walking along an interstate highway very dangerous. Broken yellow lines are used on streets and highways to A. Indicate no passing zones. B. Separate lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. C. Separate lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. C. Separate lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. Yellow lines separate traffic moving in opposite directions. Dashed lines on the pavement indicate that passing is permitted when safe. This sign means A. Four lane traffic ahead. B. Divided highway ahead. C. Two way traffic ahead. C. Two way traffic ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns that you are leaving a separated one-way highway and will soon be driving on a two-way highway. This road sign means A. When pavement is wet, reduce your speed. B. The road ahead winds in a series of turns or curves. C. Traffic increases ahead. A. When pavement is wet, reduce your speed. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that the roadway will be slippery when wet and they should reduce their speed accordingly. If your car becomes disabled while on the highway, you should. 
A. Stop in the right lane. B. Park with all four wheels off the traveled highway, if possible. C. Stop where you are. B. Park with all four wheels off the traveled highway, if possible. If your vehicle becomes disabled, you must, if possible, park with all four wheels off of the main traveled portion of the road. If you are getting tired while driving, you should A. Stop and either get rest or change drivers. B. Drink something with caffeine. C. Open a window. A. Stop and either get rest or change drivers. To avoid the dangers of fatigue driving, take breaks every hour or so during a long trip. If possible, share driving responsibilities with another person so you can each sleep while the other person drives. Having a driver license is a A. Requirement B. Privilege C. Right. When crossing a sidewalk to enter traffic from an alley or driveway, drivers should A. Stop only if pedestrians are on the sidewalk. B. Stop before driving onto the sidewalk or sidewalk area. C. Expect pedestrians on the sidewalk to yield the right of way. B. Stop before driving onto the sidewalk or sidewalk area. When leaving an alley, driveway, or parking lot to enter a roadway, you must stop before driving onto a sidewalk or sidewalk area. Pedestrians and existing traffic have the right of way. You are approaching an intersection at the posted speed limit when the signal turns yellow. You should a. Slow down and proceed through the intersection without caution. b. Speed up to cross the intersection before the light turns red. c. Stop before entering the intersection, if you can do so safely. c. Stop before entering the intersection, if you can do so safely. A solid yellow light means, caution, and signals that the light will soon turn red. You should stop at a solid yellow light if you can do so safely. Otherwise, you should cautiously cross the intersection. If your vehicle has a mechanical problem. A. Signal and pull into the slow lane. B. Stop in your lane and put on your hazard lights. C. Put on your hazard lights and pull off the road. C. Put on your hazard lights and pull off the road. If your vehicle breaks down on a highway, make sure other drivers can see it. Get your vehicle off the road and away from traffic if at all possible and turn on your emergency flashers to show that you are having trouble. This sign means A. Cars on the right move first. B. You have the right of way. C. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. C. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. When approaching this sign, you must yield the right of way. Slow down and let vehicles and pedestrians crossing your path pass before you proceed. If necessary, stop before going ahead. If a traffic signal light is green and a police officer signals for you to stop, you should A. Obey the officer. B. Obey the traffic signal. C. Do what the vehicle in front of you does. A. Obey the officer. Drivers must obey any instructions given by a police officer, even if the instructions contradict laws, signs, signals, or markings that would otherwise apply. In inclement weather, you should A. 
Steer off the road. B. Drive in a low gear. C. Steer and brake smoothly. C. Steer and brake smoothly. When driving during unfavorable weather conditions, avoid slamming on the brakes and making sharp, quick turns. These behaviors will make controlling your vehicle in inclement weather even more difficult. As you approach an intersection with a flashing yellow light, A. Stop before crossing the intersection. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Wait for a green light before proceeding. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light means that you should slow down, check for cross traffic, and proceed with caution. If your car begins to skid out of control, you should. A. Pump the brakes. B. Apply the brakes lightly. C. Stay off the brakes. C. Stay off the brakes. If your vehicle begins to skid, stay off the brakes. Continue to correct your steering until the vehicle is back under your control and moving safely down the road. You can help keep the driver behind you a safe distance away from your vehicle by A. Driving 10 miles per hour faster than the car behind you. B. Driving 10 miles per hour slower than the car behind you. C. Maintaining a steady speed. C. Maintaining a steady speed. It is not always easy to maintain a safe distance behind your vehicle. However, you can help keep the driver behind you a safe distance away from your vehicle by maintaining a steady speed and signaling turns, lane changes, and deceleration in advance. This sign indicates that A. There is a steep hill ahead. B. No trucks are allowed on the upcoming hill. C. A logging road is ahead. A. There is a steep hill ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers about an upcoming steep hill. Drivers should slow down and be ready to control their speed and protect their brakes from damage. When entering the interstate on a short entrance ramp where there is no acceleration lane, you should. A. Immediately enter the far right traffic lane on the interstate and speed up to match the flow of traffic. B. Use the shoulder of the main road to get up to the speed of traffic. C. Speed up and enter the interstate only after you have identified a gap in traffic. C. Speed up and enter the interstate only after you have identified a gap in traffic. When entering the interstate on a short entrance ramp where there is no acceleration lane, speed up only after you have identified a gap in traffic. In general, you should be stopped while waiting for a gap to appear. Use your headlights on rainy, snowy, or foggy days. A. To keep your engine warm. B. So others can see your vehicle. C. To warn others of bad weather conditions. B. So others can see your vehicle. On rainy, snowy, or foggy days, it may be difficult for other drivers to see your vehicle. Under these conditions, headlights make your vehicle easier to see. If the weather requires you to turn on your windshield wipers, you must also turn on your low beam headlights. 